a surprise move, the Diocese of Providence announcing Pope Francis has appointed a new a New York bishop to become the next Catholic leader in Rhode Island. The move comes months before current Bishop Thomas Tobin reaches the mandatory retirement age of 75. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live in Providence now with more details on what comes next. Hi, Alex. Mike. Mike, this announcement comes exactly two months before Richard Henning, uh, before Richard Henning will become coadjutor bishop. Now, meaning he will serve alongside Bishop Tobin until Pope Francis accepts his resignation. <laughs> New leadership in the Diocese of Providence could be just months away. Bishop Thomas Tobin says he plans to submit his resignation for retirement to the Pope on his 75th birthday in April. I am most grateful, truly grateful to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for approving my request to have a coadjutor bishop appointed for the Diocese of Providence. The new coadjutor bishop hails from Rockville Center, New York. Bishop Richard Henning says he still has a lot to learn about Rhode Island, only previously visiting as a tourist. I'll be certainly visiting over the next several months and being able to learn more. My best, uh, I think, and wisest course really is first to listen and learn. That started this afternoon when the 58-year-old bishop celebrated his first mass alongside Bishop Thomas Tobin. As coadjutor bishop, Henning will continue to learn more about the diocese, its people, and operations. He also told me he's open to meeting with Rhode Island state officials, but believes in the separation of church and state. I would not imagine I'm going to be somehow influencing, uh, you know, public officials. They have their very important and necessary role to do. I certainly pray for them every day. I know these are difficult times. The soon-to-be outgoing bishop tells me he will be around to offer his assistance to a successor if and when the Pope accepts his retirement. And I expect to live here and uh, maybe begin a more quiet time in my life in, time, in terms of prayer and, and reading and reflection. So that special mass for Bishop Henning will be held on January 26th right here at the cathedral. I also asked him about a number of topics and his stance on those. You can read more about that and watch a video about that right now on this story on WPRI.com. Reporting live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Tonight, we're hearing from Rhode Island's new Catholic bishop. We first broke news of his appointment last night at 10 and 11. It sets in motion a transition at the top of the Providence Diocese, which Bishop Thomas Tobin has led for the last 17 years. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us from the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence now where we've learned more about the new bishop and what comes next. The announcement was a surprise move as Bishop Thomas Tobin is still months away from the mandatory retirement age set in place by the Vatican and from there there is still a process before anything becomes official. Peace be with you. A new face in the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence. 58 year old Bishop Richard Henning celebrated his first Mass alongside Bishop Thomas Tobin, who he is slated to succeed sometime next spring. I'm going to take a page from Pope Francis's call to be a listening church, and I, I certainly hope to learn uh, more, uh, not only about this state, but really the stories of its people. Henning is an auxiliary bishop from the Diocese of Rockville Center in New York, where local media reports say the Long Island Diocese filed for bankruptcy in 2020 after hundreds of sexual abuse cases were filed against it. Henning addressed the topic Wednesday. For the Diocese of Rockville Center, uh, the decision to uh, enter into Chapter 11 uh, was driven by the desire to uh, first be able to um, uh, have the resources to address survivors, but also to be able to continue the mission of the church in, in the circumstances in which the diocese found itself. In April, Tobin turns 75 when he is required to submit his resignation to the Vatican. With Henning already coming on as a coadjutor bishop in the coming months, Tobin says he believes it will be a quick transition. And I've already indicated in my preliminary correspondence with the Holy See that I hope that my um, retirement will be accepted in a timely manner. Henning's transitionary role becomes official on January 26th in a special mass here at the cathedral. I'm told that he will receive an official letter of an appointment to become coadjutor bishop at that time. Reporting in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.